Welcome to Juniper Network's Educational Services Learning Bytes. Today's subject will be on the Juniper Wireless LAN configuring VLANs. My name is Steve Elliott and I'll be your host for this Learning Byte. Section Objectives After successfully completing this Learning Byte, you will be able to configure VLANs via the Ringmaster, WebView, or CLI interfaces, and then verify the VLAN setup. Let's use Ringmaster to configure VLAN 10. Underneath the controller system group, you'll find VLANs. Over on the right hand task panel, you'll find the create VLAN wizard. Let's go ahead and launch that. From here, we can put in the name of our VLAN, which is VLAN 10. Our VLAN ID will be 10, that's also the tag value. From here, we add our uplink port, which is our uplink port to our layer 2, layer 3 switch click on next. We could also set an optional VLAN static IP address or make a DHCP client. For example, I might set a static IP address if this were the management interface. From here, for more advanced attributes, I can select the VLAN we just created from the VLAN table and click on the properties button. From here, for example, I can set advanced attributes such as tunnel affinity for prioritization to this because it's more optimal path for tunneling for this particular VLAN to this particular controller. I can look at my VLAN member selection or VLAN member details. We can also set up a DHCP um, on the controller for this particular VLAN if we were setting up, let's say, a home office type environment and we want to use a DHCP server functionality. We also can configure spanning tree and set up our spanning tree ports. Also set up our parameters for IGMP or set up IP security destinations. From here, once we configured, we use the fast deploy to push down our configuration to our controller. From here, we can go to the CLI and issue the show config area VLAN command and see that it was properly pushed down with the correct settings. We can then do the show VLAN command to check the status of the VLAN as once again we can see we have VLAN 10 is configured it's up, its state is up for its VLAN state. Um, we can see port 1's assigned, its tag value is 10, and that's port state is also up. To delete a VLAN that we've created, we simply select the VLAN from the table and click the delete button. From here, we use the fast deploy, and then we can deploy our changes down. From here you can go back to the CLI and do a show config area VLAN and verify that's been removed. To create VLAN 10 using WebView, we can go underneath configure, go underneath system and go to VLANs. Here we can launch the create VLAN wizard in which we put in the name of our VLAN which is VLAN 10, its ID which is 10, and click on finished. It's a little bit different from this point because we actually have to go in to see details and be able to set up additional properties. For example, to set up the port, I have to click on the ports tab and then from here I can go ahead and check mark so that I've got the correct tag value. If I scroll over here I can click the add to add that uplink port now for port number one for VLAN 10. I'll click on apply and click on OK here and then from there I can save my config. To verify that your VLAN is up and working you go to CLI and issue the same command show config area VLAN and also check the status with show VLAN. You can also do a ping command to the gateway for that VLAN just like you could if you set it up through the CLI or you set up in Ringmaster and push it down. To delete inside of WebView, 
we have this little icon over here. So it's a little circle with the X in it. And we click on that, click on OK to delete, and then we can click on Save Config. Once again, we can validate with um, Show Config Area VLAN inside the CLI. Let's now go through an example of configuring VLAN 10 using the command line interface. In the enable mode, we issue the command set VLAN 10 and use the question mark to look at our options. Name allows me to put in the name string for the VLAN, which is going to be VLAN 10. Our uplink port is going to be port number 1. Our tag value for the VLAN is 10. In our prioritization setting for Telefinity, we're going to make 8. Telefinity allows us to prioritize our, our tunneling to a particular controller so that we can take advantage of optimal path or be able to tunnel to a controller with more resources. Telefinity is a number between 1 and 10. 5 is a default. The higher the number, the higher the prioritization. It will always take a look at a secondary parameter, which is its resource availability, to make sure that it keeps some type of load balancing for tunneling going on. From here, I can then verify the VLAN setup with the show config area VLAN. As I can see, my VLAN 10 commands are there. From here, I can check the status of the VLAN with Show VLAN. As I can see for VLAN 10, it, the administrative state is up, the VLAN state is up, my telephony setting is 8, my tag value is 10, and my port state is up for port number 1. To clear a VLAN, we issue the clear VLAN 10 command. You'll get a disruption at that point if you do a show config area VLAN. You will see that's been removed. This concludes the learning byte on configuring VLANs. Visit the Juniper Education Services website to learn more about courses. View our full range of classroom, online, and e-learning courses. Learning paths, industry segment and technology specific training paths. Juniper Networks Certification Program, the ultimate demonstration of your competence. And the training community, from forums to social media, join the discussion.